హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ ఈ వీడియోలో మనము ఎస్ఎస్సి పబ్లిక్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ సోషల్ స్టడీస్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఆఫ్ వాల్యుయేషన్ ఆన్సర్ కి ఫర్ బోత్ పార్ట్ ఏ అండ్ పార్ట్ బి డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం ఫస్ట్ విల్ డిస్కస్ పార్ట్ ఏ సెక్షన్ వన్ ఇన్ సెక్షన్ వన్ వీ హ్ సిక్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈ క్వశ్చన్ క్యారీస్ టూ మార్క్స్ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ దట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ద డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ పాపులేషన్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ద ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ దట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ద డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ ద పాపులేషన్ ఆర్ నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద టెరెన్ క్లైమాటిక్ కండిషన్స్ సాయిల్స్ ఇరిగేషన్ each point carries off mark so writing four points you will gives two marks we'll see second question what are the main objectives of the national food security act the main objective of the national food security act is legalize people's right to food food grains to low income families at subsidized rates cooked meals for pregnant women midday meals for children in anganwadi schools so each point carries off mark so four points two marks third question which quality of dr b r ambedkar do you like most give reason for mentioning the qualities of ambedkar one mark is allotted reasons one mark total two marks fourth question what are the consequences of frequent violation of election code of conduct by political parties at present so mockery of democracy right person may not be elected so these are the four points each point carries half mark total four marks draw the outline map of telangana so these are the this is the outline map of telangana expected question observe the following table and answer the questions a and b distribution of workers in india in 2017-18 agriculture sector industry sector service sector place of residence sex all workers what does the above table show distribution of workers in india in 2017-18 will get one mark why the share of employment in agriculture sector at has not decreased enough jobs are not created in the industry and service sector any other relevant answer shall be considered so two points two marks we'll see section 2 now six question will be asked four marks each 24 marks no choice you need to attempt all the answers what are the basic concept that contribute to an area becoming a settlement explain them the basic concept that contribute to an area becoming a settlement is site situation the history of the place mentioning of three concepts one mark explanation of each concept one mark so total four marks what changes occurred in indian democracy between 1975 and 85 so changes that occurred in indian democracy between 1975 and 85 are basic democratic rights were denied defeat of the congress party at the center emergency of viable alternative to the congress at both the centers and in the states prevented india from sliding into single party democracy different political viewpoints and sectional interest became active in state level as well as national politics non political movements emerged for social change prepare a pamphlet explaining the need for organic farming so pamphlet on the need for organic pam farming title you will get one mark title and introduction one mark analysis reason problem consequences two marks appeal conclusion number of copies one mark total four marks read the given paragraph and interpret it most small farmers have to borrow money to arrange for the working capital they borrow from large farmers or the village money lenders or the traders who supply various inputs for cultivation the rate of interest on such loans is very high understanding the context of the given paragraph you will get one mark interpretation with example analysis of the content two mark conclusion suggestion on the basic of the content one mark total four marks you can write anything relevant to this paragraph based on the mentioned points 11th question look at the following on the outline map of world washington japan congo italy so congo is located here washington italy and japan moving on to 12th question observe the given table and analyze it so based on this table we need to analyze how the marks is allotted we'll see what is table about you have to write that table about and data you will get one mark analysis of data two marks finding conclusion suggestions one mark total four marks 
Last section in part A, four questions. Each question carries six marks, total 24. We have choice in this section. Out of six, we need to write any four. Classify the Himalayas and explain. Classification of Himalayan ranges. Himadri or Greater Himalayas, Himachal, Lower Himalayas, Middle Himalayas, Shivaliks or Outer Himalayas. Himadri, Northernmost range, average elevation about 6100 meters, about mean sea level, composed of snow and ice cover. Himachal, between Himadri and Shivali. Average elevation about 3500 to 4500 meters above sea level. Famous hill stations are located. Shivaliks, formed in the last stage of formation of Himalayas. Average elevation varies from 600 to 1500. Classification of Himalaya ranges, one end of mark. Explanation of each range, one end of total, four end of. Any other relevant points shall be considered for the explanation of the Himalayan ranges. So total six marks. Explain the relations between India and China. Relation between India and China. India supported China's permanent seat in UN Secretary Council, Bandung Conference, Panchashil Pact, Mac Mohon Line, Tibet removal of buffer zone, Dalai Lama refugee to India, claim of Aksai Chin in Ladakh, India-China war in 1962. Restoration of full diplomatic relations, economic and political competitions, measures to maintain peace and tranquility at the borders. Any other relevant points also can be considered. Fifteenth question, why are the working conditions of workers in unorganized sectors not improving even today? Suggest suitable measures. Reasons are rules and regulations are not enforced, availability of more workers, negligence of employers, no proper monitoring, monitoring lack of awareness to the workers on the labor's law, illiterate employees. So measures are creating awareness on the labor laws, Regular monitoring, providing minimum facilities in working places, providing storage and marketing facilities. Promoting literacy, organizing skill-based training program. So reasons, you will get three marks, measures three marks. Any other relevant points also considered. Total six marks. Read the following paragraph and write your opinion. So understanding the context, one end of interpretation with example, three marks, conclusion, suggestion, one end of mark. Total six marks. Locate the following on the outline map of India. Malwa Plateau, River Godavari, Sirkar Coast, the state with the lowest density of population, Chandigarh, Bihar. So Chandigarh is here, Malwa Plateau, Shader region, Bihar, Arunachal Pradesh, River Godavari, Sirkar Coast. These are the six questions given in the question paper. Observe the given bar graph and analyze it. What is the graph about? And data, one end of mark. Analysis of data, three marks. Finding, conclusion, suggestion, one end of. Total six marks. Now we will discuss important part of the question paper, part B. First question, match the following. Blue winds, northeast monsoons, the region to the north of the Tropic of Cancer, southwest monsoons. So first, blue winds is hot winds blow in the northern plains. Northeast monsoon is heavy rainfall to the Coromandel coast. The region to the north of the Tropic of Cancer is temperate zone. Southwest monsoons is heavy rainfall along the west coast. So correct option for first question is C. This is not an environmental movement. Myra Pipe movement is not an environmental movement. There is a dispute between these two countries regarding the distribution of Ganga river water, India and Bangladesh. Correct option for third question is B. Liberalization leads to trade barriers, free trade, trade restrictions, more taxes. Correct option is B. Free trade. The main allegation made by Punjab during the Punjab agitation was ignoring the role of the state in the development of the country. Correct option for fifth question is A. Match the following. So sixth question, option is D, 1, 1. Amlets, a group of houses within the revenue village, 2, 3. The class 1 cities are urban areas having population between 1 lakh to 1 million, 3, 4. Metropolitan cities are cities having population between 1 million and 10 million, 4, 2. Revenue villages are villages with defined borders. 
Seventh question, this is not the cause of reducing fertility of the soil. Use of organic fertilizers. Correct option for seventh question is D. Eighth question, the northern edge of Deccan Plateau is Satpura Mountains. So correct option for eighth question is B, Satpura Mountains. Ninth question, the election code of contact will come into force at the time of commencement of election schedule. So correct option for ninth question is B at the time of commencement of election schedule. Tenth question, in China, the Communist Party of China worked for land reforms and spreading literacy. So correct option for tenth question is D, spreading literacy. Eleventh question, the first five year plan gave priority to agriculture. Eleventh question option is A, agriculture. Twelfth, the following is not the working capital, seeds, pesticides, machines, chemical fertilizers. Seeds, pesticides and chemical fertilizers are working capital, whereas 12C machines are not working capital. So correct option for 12th question is C. The commission formed to study the development in Andhra Pradesh and submit the report to the center is Justice Sri Krishna Commission. Correct option for 13th question is A. Justice Sri Krishna Commission. 14th question, find out the odd one regarding services, brokers, saving accounts, banks, handicrafts. 14th question, Correct option is D. Handicrafts. Fifteenth question. This is a tributary of River Ganga. Chambal. Correct option for fifteenth question is D. Chambal. Sixteenth. As per 2011 census, the male literacy rate is 82%. Seventeenth question. Match the following. Correct option is A. 1D. Announcement of partition of country is Lord Mountbatten. Second A, an Aval Central Strike Committee is MS Khan. Third B, need for Northwest Muslim state is Muhammad Iqbal. A re resolution on the rights of min minority is Jawaharlal Nehru. So correct option for 17th question is option A. 18th question, imposing taxes on important goods leads to. 18th question, imposing taxes on imported goods leads to. Imported goods are cheaper, beneficial to domestic producers, prices of imported goods rise. So correct option is B2 and 3. Both 2 and 3 you have to select. So correct option for 18th question is 2 and 3, option B. 19th question, the present president of India is Draupadi Murmu. The present secretary general of UNO is Antonio Guterres. 